Week 33 Day 1 At a loss With the trivial sum of $5 in his pockets, Robert Lacey was feeling far from complacent about the future. In fact, it was his somber estimate that no matter how frugal he was, his money would run out before the next day. He owed $3.50 in debts to friends. With the remainder he would have to eat enough to maintain his strength. Hunger would debilitate him to the point where he could not continue his fervid search for Evelyn. There was no hope of an impetuous stranger suddenly thrusting money upon him. There was still less solace for him in the hope that, after all this time, he might develop the occult power that would give him a mental image of where Evelyn could be found. Sample Sentences 1. The guard was so complacent about the danger of escape that he gave the prisoner only a cursory inspection. 2. We should be prudent in our play or work during very hot weather, because the sun has the power to enervate and debilitate those that scoff at its effects. 3. He looked for a propitious moment to exhibit his occult abilities. 4. The deleterious results of his irate outburst put the previously jocose audience in a somber mood. 5. They were so moved by the idyllic setting, they exchanged surreptitious, impetuous kisses. Week 33 Day 2 Making Plans Robert had arrived in New York a week earlier. He had begun by asking discreet questions of Evelyn's former landlord. There was no need to foment opposition at the very beginning. The landlord was recondite, and all Robert had been able to glean from the cryptic replies was that Evelyn had moved to a residence that catered to single women. Robert was in a hapless situation. In this immense city his quarry could be hiding in one of dozens of such places. This would obviate the possibility of his dashing from one place to another in an impetuous manner. His search, while it had to be concluded with celerity, could not be carried out in such slovenly fashion. He required a succinct and meticulous plan. Sample Sentences 1. In order to foment trouble, they fabricated a deplorable and blatant untruth. 2. She loathed doing menial tasks, and she did them in a slovenly manner. 3. Although it seemed inane, they sought their quarry in the midst of rustic surroundings that were not its natural habitat. 4. Despite the plethora of offers to write her life story, the recently divorced movie queen kept a discreet silence. 5. The reporters could not glean anything from her servants. Week 33 Day 3 A newspaper ad. On the premise that Evelyn knew she was being sought, Robert's first step was to abjure fruitless searching and place an ad in the leading morning newspaper. He would importune in a most careful way for her return. The ad read, Evelyn, come out of hiding. I do not reproach you for your actions. I expect no penitent confession. There is nothing ambiguous about my offer. Please contact Robert. He added a box number for a reply. When Robert went to the paper the next morning, he felt sanguine about the chances of locating her. His evanescent concerns disappeared. There was a letter for him, and with tremulous fingers he tore it open. It contained one sentence, and it was tantamount to a challenge. If you really care about me, you will find me by midnight, Friday, Evelyn. Sample Sentences 1. The inveterate gambler became penitent and contrite when faced with the results of his reprehensible behavior. 2. The optimist knows that the vicissitudes of life are evanescent, and she always looks on the sanguine side of things. 3. You should not condone his sordid behavior, rather, reproach him for his fractious manner. 4. At the zenith of his career, he was tantamount to a final arbiter on matters of economic policy. 5. In vain, the entire family tried to importune him to abjure gambling. Week 33 Day 4 at the ballet. Evelyn was an anomaly. She had a propensity for folk music and rock and roll dancing. And, at the same time, she was an avid fan of classical ballet. At one time she had been a fledgling ballet dancer. Robert headed for a theater where a venerable ballet company was performing. He knew he had to be wary so that Evelyn might not see him first. It was Tuesday evening. Two days gone with so little to show. 
only three more remaining before the deadline set by Evelyn. He tried hard to allay the sudden fear that came over him that he might not locate her. Nothing would deter him from succeeding. And so, although he was far from a connoisseur of the dance, he was standing among the throng in the lobby, hoping it would be a propitious evening for him. Sample sentences 1. The connoisseur scoffs at the dilettante, who has only a veneer of knowledge. 2. It is difficult to allay the concern of parents about how susceptible their children are and how easily they succumb to drugs. 3. Some girls have a propensity for swarthy men who wear gaudy clothes. 4. Her father warned her to be wary of adding the encumbrance of a steady boyfriend as this would attenuate her chances of finishing college. 5. This did not deter her from getting into a deplorable situation due to her rash and perverse actions.